This is what happens when you give kittens catnip. I don't know why it's out of focus. Why is it out of focus? There we go. Don't mind my bag of trash. You've got crazy, crazy cats here. I'm going to get it out of their system. <laughs> All right, guys, you're on the cord. Catnip time at the cat lady's house. That sister growling. She doesn't want anybody bothering her little bu bunch of catnip. It's hard to get the whole room here where they're at. Well, hello. Did you get your catnip? Or are you just staying out of their psychotic way? I've got one sitting on me while I make the video. They are just too precious. Sebastian, what are those kids doing? <laughs> Did you get tagged, Sebastian? Is the parkour going to start? Are you surrounded, Sebastian? <laughs> and no, he is not the daddy. Sebastian is fixed. My bleeding heart took in a kitten earlier this year, and he should not have been old enough. They lied about his age. We got him rehomed and neutered, but by then he'd already knocked up my three girls, and this is the result. These lovely, healthy guys need homes in the worst way. The little calicos are staying. That's mother and daughter. Mother is very small. She was very sick last year when she came to me, so her growth got a little stunted. I'm being right here next to me. Got two of them fighting. But there's three different ages here. The black one is sister to the calico. The calico is the mother of that little calico of, where did he go? The silver tabby and the orange tabby. There's tiger, the silver tabby. The orange tabby went flying through the trailer somewhere. He's down at the other end of the trailer. The six little black ones belong to this little lady right here. Her very first litter, she as little as she is, she popped out six kittens. And I'm like, okay, thinking, yeah, they're pregnant. They might have three apiece. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with cat breeding. Honestly, you know, I... 
what happened to three kittens in the first litter, you know? That little calico right there had five. One of hers passed away. One has been adopted out already. And the little black ones are adorable. They really are. It's so hard for me to tell them all apart. The one with the collar is the mother to the six little ones. There's my little... <clears throat> There's the little orange one. He's the only orange one in the whole bunch. The calico is his mama. That little calico right there is his mama. I think the mamas did a really good job. The little black and white one there, his name is Rowdy. Hello, Leo. You're photobombing. Rowdy needs a home. He's got a solid black brother named Monkey. Like I said, it's getting hard to tell these black ones apart. I'm not sure where Monkey's at. There's Monkey. That's Monkey right there. He's the bigger black one. Sebastian. They went crazy. Mama gave them the dope. Mama gave them the catnip. <laughs> He got tagged again, huh, Sebastian? <laughs> he will not hurt. As big as he is, he will not hurt these kittens. And it's funny, Sebastian, the big black and white one, if the food dish is empty, or he can see the, if he can see the bottom of it, there could still be food in it, but if he can see the bottom of it, he will come and wake me up because they are going to starve and die. And I must go put food in the dish. There is sister. Get ready for growling and slapping. This is why I need a GoPro or something that I can put on a tripod. Just to set the camera up and let it catch this stuff. The little black and white one that just jumped on the cat tree, her name is Daisy. She is the sweetest kitty cat. Just so precious. Give them a little cat up though, and they go insane. See, I have to do this, because if I don't, I, they will do this crap all night. I need them to get it out of their system so I can go to sleep. Because it's getting up on midnight. Wait, don't kill each other. Sometimes the little black ones get rough with each other. Everybody happy now? Remember those drug commercials? This is your brain on drugs. Uh, this is your cats on catnip. See, so here comes Sebastian back. We've got some MMA fighting going on over here. And if you wonder why I have a sheet on top of my blanket, it's for this purpose. I put the catnip on the sheet. That way it doesn't actually get in my bed. <laughs> you just threw him off the bed. That wasn't nice.
What you doing up there, Daisy? You playing with the ceiling? Every one of these guys has the same daddy. He was solid black, had extremely good temperament. It was quite large, actually, so some of these guys are, are going to get pretty good sized. The oldest litter was born July 1st, and there's three of them. The two black and white ones, and the one named Monkey, which is over here somewhere. I've got one here attacking my pant leg. <laughs> When they're little like that and their first catnip, they're like, oh, they get a little spaced out. So that one's kind of freaking out. <laughs> but yeah, the black and white one there and the black and white one up there and Monkey, who, like I said, is getting hard to tell apart from the other black ones, were born July 1st. The two tabbies and the little torty calico were born July 31st. And then the six little black ones were born August 24th. These guys, these little ones, were born August 24th. Pikachu has had a rough go at it. For a while, didn't think he was going to make it. He's so small for his age. But these guys are starting to catch up. They'll, they'll get there. Yeah, they'll get there. And we got more MMA fighting going on over here. <laughs> Don't hurt each other. And they do understand you. When I put out catnip, I tend to put it in one place. Oh, now I have MMA fighting on my lap here. There's one of these little bitty black ones that will literally just sit and chase its tail, its own tail, all day long. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the one over there by the, on the other side here. But yeah, even without catnip, there's one of the little black ones that literally will chase its tail all day long. I haven't figured out why it does that yet. These cats also don't come to hear kitty kitty. Watch what happens. Kitty 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 kitty. They look at you like you're insane. Squeaker. <laughs> She's gonna photo bomb. Say hi, Squeaker. There's Leo. Say hi, sister. Sister, like, I'm going to sit up here on the nightstand and watch these crazy kids. There's Ivory. That is the mother of the six little black ones. And as tiny as she is, she popped out six kittens. She had four, and I thought, oh, she's done. I'm going to take me a nap. And I wake up, and there's two more. And I literally look at her, and I'm like, because she wasn't that big when she was pregnant. And I'm like, where the fuck did you put all those? Can't 
Okay, Leo. You got catnip all over you. You know that? You got catnip all over you, dude. He's a big love bug. Get out of focus again. <laughs> but the black cat with the collar, her name is Ivory. She's the supervisor and the inspector in the house. If you're working in the house, she has to be there inspecting everything you do. And she has to supervise what you're doing. If you're doing the dishes, she has to supervise. If you're taking a bath, she has to supervise. And she will grab your hand and try to save you from the evil water torture if you're taking a bath. When you get out, then she has to try and lick all the water off your legs. Because the evil water is still clinging to you. We got MMA going on over here now. <laughs> yeah, they're disassembling the kitchen again. They do the parkour thing. I think they're about to all go down to the kitchen. There's toys down there that they play with. You gotta love the sneak attacks. When one ain't expecting it. Hey, 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 don't hurt each other. Or when they want to get in your lap to do the MMA fighting. Hey, don't hurt each other. You're being mean. Did you find some more... Catnip Milo. You gonna get giddy monkey. Monkey got his name as a baby because he was a climber. <laughs> They're all up on the up there again. But this one right here, right there, is a climber. He's also very ticklish. Very ticklish. But see when he bites, he doesn't bite hard. He'll suck your finger too. It's kind of funny. At too hard. You know better than that. But yes, he's very ticklish. He's also very high right now. He had quite a bit of catnip. So I get him. He will not hurt you. If he was biting hard, I'd be saying, ouch. Those are little, call them little love bites. See there, not biting hard at all. Just so you know, if I bought, he bought a kid or something, won't hurt anybody. 
See how he's not even using the claws? You can see the claws, but they're not in the skin. See there? These cats have been taught to be gentle. See, he'll show his claws, but you see he doesn't grab me with them. I'm showing you this because I work with the babies and see how when he kicks, because he's ticklish, he'll kick. If you tickle him, he kicks, but he does not use his claws when he kicks. He'll show them to you. He's not afraid to show those claws, but he won't use them. <laughs> I get your tail monkey. He is marked so cute too. All right, can I have my hand back now? Are you done with my hand? And this, by the way, you can't see it. I've got so many blankets on the bed right now. The monster under the blanket. They must protect you from the monster under the blanket, which you call your foot. <laughs> Sebastian. And no, he's not fat. He's just very, very fluffy. His hair is so thick. I've got to brush him so often. All right, guys. I think the action's just about over. So you've had a good taste of catnip time at the cat lady's house.